you know me and your sister and your brother-in-law the mechanic your mailman a head rush that you can't shake off you know what I mean uh, say you party all night right you know how you wake up with that grogginess and you're like if I had some Advil or something to shake it okay so you take the Advil and you keep taking the Advil and you keep taking the Advil and you can't keep feeling yourself with Advil right so you stop you stop partying oh wait you don't even party at all but the grogging is still there like that right. how the f could you kidnap some kids and put them in your goddamn basement you weak link and then how you got the audacity to be cool with me and tell me, hey, listen, I'm a bus driver, right? Hey, watch my house while I'm gone. You know, because something, my rake's coming up missing, my light bulb, blah, 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 all kind of little, you know, stuff to make me go, you know what? The next some bitch come on Ariel Castro's property, I'm choking her. Ain't that aiming in a bedding? <laughs> By deception, I suppose. What do you think would have happened, like, if there was, you know, if he was there or came home or chased her out the door? I mean, do, have you thought about that? Of course. Well, we'll just, I, I would like to say that I'd still be doing this interview and he'd be dead by the, by the hands of me. But keep in mind what I'm doing. So he's got every right to keep that hush-hush. See I'm coming from? Because I don't know what's going on. I just see this girl going ape shit. He knows what's going on. So the smart thing to do is we got to quiet the nigga. And you you get back to the house. Wouldn't be no story. Right? I was standing next to Amanda Berry. We, uh, the police asked her to get inside the ambulance. And she says, no, there's two more girls in that house. And I'm not leaving until they come out. Oh. And then you see Gina. Well, you kind of don't because she's covered with a blanket. But you see a girl shaking uncontrollably with two officers. Then you see another little, I don't want to say little, but uh, let me see, uh, dainty, if you will, uh. person with two officers. Oh, well, those must be babysitters, right? <laughs> no. So, yeah. People will and always shall perceive me as a goddamn psychopath. This is cool. I like that. Now, would I would do anything different? Probably not, because what I said and the police response coincided with one another. You know what I mean? So anything different might have, somebody's life might have got taken, like mine.